Let's make a meal. If you're like me, the last thing you feel like doing when you get home is cook. Have you ever thought about why it's such a chore? Well, maybe it has something to do with the tools in your kitchen. Craig Nasser, the practical chef, joins me in the kitchen today with a lesson in knives. And you say that a lot of people tell you that it's chopping yes. that turns, the, turns them off from cooking. One of the biggest complaints I get from my clients and one of the biggest classes I do with my clients is knife skills. Because they always say, I come home from work and then I gotta chop all this stuff. It takes me forever to chop it. And then, you know, they don't wanna deal with it, so then they'll just get takeout or whatever yeah. they're gonna do. Yeah. So okay. I'll give you, I'm gonna give you guys a few tricks on, on knives. Um, it's real important to keep sharp knives. You, a good thing to have is to have a good French knife, a good paring knife, and a good serrated edge knife. Okay. Um, I know everybody usually has those blocks in their house and yes. it has 20 knives in yeah. them. And that's fine if you already have that. But if you're gonna go out and buy a knife, spend good money and get these three knives okay. because really that's all you're going to really need to use most of the time. Okay. You don't need all those boning knives and all that other okay. stuff. Okay. Um, when you're keeping your knife sharp, just understand that the steel will not sharpen your knife. This will not sharpen. This is only if your knife is sharp, this will hone it to keep it sharp. Okay. But once this gets dull, you could sit here on this all day long and it's not going to do a darn thing. Okay. All right. So be careful with that, knowing that because I've seen people really hurt themselves by starting to, you know, put on the big show and then <laughs> dangerous it's yeah. really, you know it's crazy um, this is a really nice little um, sharpener that you can pick up at, at, at your kitchen stores um, this one happens to be made by Wustoff um, and there's a coarse side on here and a fine side on here and what this does is it tilts in either way mm -hmm. and what you want to do is drag your knife through gently and let the thing do let the this, this sharpener do the work and just run it through and then do it onto the fine side and run it through as well it's real important, the sharper your knives are, the better. The, 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 you're more likely to cut yourself with a dull knife than you are That's with a sharp I've knife. I've heard that. And it's gonna be a nastier cut. Mm -hmm. If you cut yourself with a sharp knife, it's gonna hurt, but it's gonna be a clean cut. Mm -hmm. if that makes, you know, if that mm -hmm. makes anybody feel any better, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're chopping, it's real important. So I'm gonna show you some techniques that you need to learn with chopping. And there's certain things you can practice with. Mushrooms are a good one to work with if you wanted to do some sauteed mushrooms. Your fingers here are your guide. Okay. Okay. So you're going to use your finger as a guide to, to, to chop, and then you step back, and you always, you have your fingers are tucked under, so you actually are like this, mm -hmm. and this is your guide going down like that. Gotcha. Good thing to practice with is a banana in the morning. Mm -hmm. so you're going to put it in your cereal because it's easy to slice. You can really do it pretty quickly and get used to it. It's 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 all practice. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. The faster you'll become, mm -hmm. and you're safe. Yeah. That's the, the, the key. Okay. So onions. So I'm using my, my, this finger here as a guide and I'm coming through like so. How do you keep from crying? Well, you know what I found is when I wear my contact lenses, I don't, it, I don't cry as much. It doesn't affect much. you yeah, as much? Yeah, when I wear my glasses or if I'm not mm -hmm. wearing glasses at all. And you put a cut in through there. But again, it's all about the guide. And, you, and don't get crazy with your cuts. Just get, get it cut up. It doesn't have to be perfect. If mm -hmm. you're feeding your family at home and you just need to knock out a meal, get the vegetables cut as quickly as possible. And I notice that you don't cut straight down. You kind of do a sweeping Yeah, motion. there's kind of, you come in and down, yeah. in okay. and down. Now, I want to talk about the serrated knife real okay. quick. All right. This is a great knife to have in the kitchen because if you if, you're, if your knives are dull mm -hmm. and you're fighting to get through a tomato or something, this is great for tomatoes and things like that. Good, Good small bread. serrated bread as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. but it goes through the tomatoes so very easily, very like nice. so. It's almost a joy, isn't it? Right, and you know, get a knife that you feel comfortable with. My mom, I got her some really nice knives, and all of a sudden, she's using this knife to cut everything. <laughs> you know, and it's I, little. And I, yeah, exactly. She likes this knife, and yeah. I'm like, well, at least keep that one sharp, Ma. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? So, right. um, but you know, you want to really practice. It's 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 timing. If and don't get yourself crazy. If you know, if the recipe says, oh, a medium or a fine cut, just get the, the, the get thing. it into the darn recipe and get it cut. <laughs> all right, don't get yourself all nuts and crazy about that. Okay, and in the minute you have left, okay. show us how to make a so nice salsa. This is a real quick salsa. Okay, we got some tomatoes. Nice tomato. Okay. I got some jalapeno here. Mm, yep. Okay. Got some, uh, I put some green onions in mine. Mm-hmm. I'll put a little pinch of garlic in there. Yeah, of much. course. A little red onion, because yep. you know I love red onion. Absolutely. <laughs> it's good for you, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, get it all the time. Uh -huh. um, you're going to put a little, just a tiny bit of chopped cilantro. Uh-huh. You just know when a person knows how to cook how by the way they use that knife. Right. So you throw your cilantro in there. Okay. And then I like to put a little lime juice in. Okay. So you put squeeze mm, some juice in yeah. there. Yeah. And then just mix it all up. And you're huh? gonna mix it up. I'll put a little this. You like Worcestershire. You like that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, just a pinch. Okay. 
and then you can put some red hot and some uh, cumin in there as well and okay. then just mix it up. Okay, and that's it, and just serve and it with... And then serve it a little salt and pepper, and this is what you got in serve it with some chips. This is a good thing to practice with. Yeah, it sure is, because uh, all kinds of chopping yeah, chopping a little of everything. Thank you, Craig. Thanks Appreciate a lot, it. Nice Appreciate salsa, it. and that recipe for salsa is on the web if you should need it, and thanks for being with us, and we'll be back.